When it comes to the AI race, Google is a beast. They've released so many updates to both Gemini and their entire AI suite that at this point, I think most people could replace all of their AI tools that they ever use with just one subscription to Gemini. No more paying hundreds of dollars a month for a dozen different AI tools. In this video, I'll show you some of the most popular AI tools out there and how you can pretty much replace all of them with just Google Gemini for a fraction of the price. And to make this video easier to navigate, I'll have timestamps down below. So first up, we need to talk about image generation. I used to pay for services like Midjourney because they had the best image generation tools out there, but Google's new Nano Banana Pro is so insanely good that I no longer need a tool like Midjourney. And you can access Nano Banana Pro directly inside of the Gemini app. This is now considered one of the best image generation tools out there, and it comes with a pro subscription of Gemini. So for instance, all you have to do is come in here. You can click right here where it says create image, or you can just tell it that you're looking to create an image and it will automatically use Nano Banana Pro. You can see it loading right there, and then it will produce a high quality image for you. And there is the final result. And I have to say that all of the photos that I've been producing with Nano Banana Pro have really been blowing me away. The way it's just able to understand lighting and shadows and composition and sort of the physics of the real world is truly mind blowing. And what I also love about this is that if there's anything I don't love about this, I can just ask Gemini to change it. So in the background, we have sort of this office. So what I wanna say is, this looks great, but change the background to a coffee shop. So instead of starting over, I can just take the photo that it already produced for me and just have it change the elements that I want modified without having to start over. And that alone is a huge change from in the past where we just had to keep re-prompting until we got the result that we wanted. And there we go. You can see that this is the exact same foreground, just the background is now different. Now, another tool that I've been able to replace is a tool like Ideogram. So Ideogram was something that I could use in the past to really produce AI images with text on them, because this is something that a lot of AI tools have really struggled with, but now Nano Banana excels at that as well. So I'll go ahead and open up a new chat and I'll tell it to design a modern minimalistic business logo for a firm called Ascend Capital. And Gemini here gave me two different choices. I think both of them look great. And the point of this is to really highlight that it's able to put text on this image very well. We can actually take this up a level so I can tell it, create an infographic that talks about the current trends in AI. Now, this sort of functionality is something that I used to pay for with another app because again, Nano Banana or Gemini in the past wasn't able to really put text on images very well. And it couldn't carry out this multi-step process where it goes out, does the research, and then comes up with an infographic that has all of that research in it. But now it is able to do that. And you see that it looks absolutely awesome. Now, of course, something very similar to image generation is video generation. And using tools like Midjourney and Runway will definitely get the job done, but it can get very expensive. And now Gemini has VO3 built in and it is a very capable video generation model. So right here, I'm asking it to create a video showing a smooth pedestal up shot. And what I wanna highlight with this prompt is its ability to make very realistic videos and complex camera movements. So here's the final video. And one thing you'll also notice is that it includes sound built in as well. And I think that is absolutely perfect. Now, when you sign up for Gemini Pro, it also gives you access to AI in a lot of other Google tools as well, including Flow, which is part of Google Labs. And this is another way to access their video generation, but it is really tailored more towards businesses and larger projects. So I'm here inside Flow, I'll click on new project, and we can do the exact same thing we did before. So we can tell it what type of video we wanna create, so this time I'll ask it to create a video of some chocolate that's melting because I really want to demonstrate how good it is at understanding the physics of the real world. But you'll notice here that we have a lot more control over how we use this and the settings. So we're doing text to video, but there's also frames to video, which is basically where you create an image or take an image and have it brought to life so that you can continue from one video frame to or one video segment to another. You can do ingredients to video where you can combine multiple things into one video, like multiple images, 
all inside one video, or you can have it create images for you. You can choose which model you want to use. You can choose which aspect ratio and the number of outputs. Then you can go ahead and click on generate there and you'll see it does the exact same thing, but inside of this workflow. So you have a lot more control. And here is that result. We can watch this. I mean, that is excellent. So now what you can do is click right here where it says add to scene. And you see, and now put it into this video workflow, this timeline down here. This is a clip we just added. And now if you want to add another clip to this, click right here and we can click on extend. The spoon is dropped and then it will continue this scene where we'll have the same video of the chocolate melting and then the person is going to drop the spoon. So we now have this full AI video generation tool that is included when you sign up for Gemini Pro. Now, another tool that I've been able to replace is any sort of AI presentation tool like Gamma. This normally costs about $10 a month on top of all the other subscriptions you're already paying for. But now Gemini is actually able to create full presentations for you inside of Google Slides. Now, there's a few ways to do this, but I suggest that you always start inside of Gemini. It connects up with your Google Drive and Google Slides. So this is a better place to start because it's able to create multiple slides. So I'm going to tell it, create a seven slide business pitch deck for me. And I gave it all the details. And now I'm gonna change down here the settings from fast to thinking. And that's because I actually want Gemini to go out and do the research for me. If I actually had the information that I wanted included in the slide, what I could do was go is go over to Google Drive and actually upload all that information into a document or as a PDF. And then over here in Gemini, just click on this add files and add from drive. And I'll be able to add all the context that I want to actually build out that presentation. But in this case, what I wanna highlight is the fact that Gemini can now go out, do all the research for you, and then build the presentation without any further input from you. And the final thing you need in order for this to work is click on tools and click on canvas. And then you can go ahead and click on submit. All right, so here's what it created. On the right here, we can see what Gemini calls their canvas. It's kind of like a workspace where you can see what it created for you. And here is the entire pitch deck that it put together, the entire presentation. So it not only added the words here and all the text, but tons of images as well. And ones that accurately describe what the presentation is about and what the slide is about. I mean, this is quite stunning what we're looking at. So now if you're ready to use this, what you can go ahead and do is click on export to slides. And now it's inside of Google Slides, so we can continue to work on it here and make any changes that we want. So there's a few ways you can use Gemini inside of here to improve any slides you have. So for instance, this page right here is pretty sparse, right? Not a lot going on. So I can just click right here where it says beautify this slide. And then here is the suggested edit. So if I like this, I can just go ahead and click on it. And now we have a nicer looking slide right here. So at any time, what you can do is open up the slide you wanna change and on the right here, click on this banana icon. And this will actually allow you to make any edits that you want right here in this text box. So for instance, here I asked it to change the title of this slide to make it something more compelling and to change this image to some sort of infographic that actually describes all of the text here. And that's exactly what it was able to do. I can either insert that as a new slide or insert it on top of this one. It creates it as an image, which is kind of like a weird quirk because this is actually an image generation tool on the right here, but it accomplishes exactly what we want. All right, let's talk about another AI tool that you can replace. And this is a category that has been blowing up recently, and that is any type of AI app builder. Now, these can usually run you 10, 20, 30, 40, sometimes even $50 a month. But Google actually has some of these tools and some of them are actually free. You don't even need a Gemini subscription for them. So for instance, Opal is one of them. This is it right here. So this is something that was built with Opal. It is an app. So on the right, it's it's this you can see what the app actually looks like, a preview of it. And this basically built out a product research tool. So I can click on inside the app to see how it works. Click right here. So I want to do some research on, let's say, Espresso Makers. The app is then asking me what are my preferences or restraints. So I'll just say under, let's say $300. And now the app is actually using AI to do the research for me. So these are AI powered apps 
that you can build yourself. Now, this sounds very complicated, but as I'll show you in a second, it's actually really easy to build out these app workflows using Opal. But this is the final result of the app that was built out with Opal. It did the research, kind of gave us a report of the best espresso makers. We can see more details and the exact recommendations that it gives you. Now, this entire app, if we come back to the Opal home screen right here, you can make this just by clicking right here where it says create new. And then down here, you can describe what it is that you want to build out in terms of the app. So I could say to it something as simple as, build me an app that helps people get product recommendations when shopping. And it'll actually build out an app just like the one that I just showed you. Now, once you have an app that you're happy with, all you have to do is actually click up here on the top right where it says share app, and you'll actually be able to get a link that you can share with anyone. So anyone will actually be able to use this app with that link. So this is a very sort of like consumer, easy, very friendly way to make simple apps that are powered by AI. If you need something more complex, that is where Google's AI studio comes in. Over here on the left, you can click on build and you can build out complete apps inside of Google AI studio. This is more for developers who actually want to have like a paid app that people actually have to pay money to access. So this is another resource that's available with Google as well, so that you don't have to pay for a third party app that does the exact same thing. Now, speaking of building apps and coding, I know a lot of developers in the past have used Claude to do this because it is a really great model. However, as time has gone on, Claude has become more and more expensive because they lowered the limits on all of their plans. And in addition to that, Google's coding capabilities has gotten exceptionally good. So you can do this inside directly inside of Gemini. You can just tell it exactly what type of coding assignment you have, and it's actually able to do that inside of here. Or you can use something like Google AI Studio to do it as well. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this because I'm not a coder myself, but I do know a lot of them are switching over to Google and Gemini just because they're already paying for Gemini and the coding capabilities have gotten so good. So this next category is one you may or may not have heard of before, but it is one that is really important to me. It's called a second brain. Now, a second brain is basically a fancy way to describe a note-taking system or app. A lot of people pay for something like Notion AI to do this, but since Google's Gemini is built right into Google Drive, you can actually use Google Drive as your second brain. So of course, the way you start doing this is you just come over to Google Drive and click on new and put all your notes inside of here. Create Google Docs, if you have different spreadsheets, create Google Sheets, just add all of your business information into Google Drive. And now armed with this, Gemini can help you really organize everything that you do. So for instance, I can click right here on Ask Gemini and I can say something like, Recently, I had you put together a presentation for me. I think it was about sales funnels or lead magnets or something like that. Can you help me find that, that presentation or document? You see, I'm not really describing exactly what it is that I'm looking for, yet despite that, Gemini was actually able to find exactly what I was looking for. Here it is right here. Not sure what's up with that, but here's a presentation that we created together before. But it doesn't just help you find stuff. It, of course, allows you to work on any, any documents you have as well. So right here, I have a guide I've put together for customer service when selling on eBay. So what I can do is I can click on Ask Gemini and tell it, turn this into a blog post. And now we have an entire SEO optimized blog post from all this information. I can insert this into this document or copy it and use it however I want. But because all of Google's tools are so well integrated together, this is so much more powerful than just being able to rewrite content. Inside of Gemini, I mentioned this before, but it's worth mentioning again, you can reference any file that you have in Drive. So you no longer have to copy things from like Notion and paste it into Gemini or ChatGBT. This already has the full context. You just have to click here and click on which file you're talking about. Same thing for Gmail as well. So inside of Gmail here, I'm replying to this email. I don't have to start over explaining to Gemini how I like all of my emails answered. Instead, all I have to do is inside of Gemini here on the right, I just go ahead and put the at sign. I can now 
select one of my files from Google Drive. I have this one right here called example. And what this file is, is a very, very simple document I just did for this video. Basically it says reply to this email, answer every email like you're a cowboy. And now if I just click on send here, I don't have to give it any further instructions. And it's going to be able to know how I like my emails answered, which in this case is like a cowboy. I like this response, I can click on insert. And now I have a response ready to go. Now I have to be honest with you here, while Gemini in Drive is really good for me personally, the more that I've been using Notion AI, the more that I feel it is completely irreplaceable. I'm happy having both Notion and Gemini and paying for that just because of how incredibly powerful Notion is at organizing my entire business. And honestly, at this point, I couldn't work with it out it. Now I haven't actually done a full video about my Notion AI workflow yet, but I'm planning that one out and it should be coming out very soon because I do think it is a game changer that I wanna tell you guys about. So if you don't wanna miss that video, make sure to hit that subscribe button right now so you can see it when it comes out. Now, another tool I used to pay $20 a month for just for its deep research functionality was Perplexity. But now inside of Gemini, we have this deep research button right here that I have found to be insanely powerful. So with this, the results that I'm getting, I no longer feel that I need to have or pay for perplexity. Another AI tool that a lot of businesses use is any sort of AI note-taking tool like Otter. And this is used during like Zoom calls to actually take notes during the live call. But now if you use Google Meet, Gemini is built into it. It can summarize video meetings for you. It can translate for you and does a lot of other things as well, like just make you look nice. So that's built into Google Meet now when you have Gemini. And finally, if you use any sort of AI chatbot, and you probably do if you're watching this video, maybe that's ChatGPT, maybe that's Claude, maybe that's Perplexity, consider just using Gemini. It is a very capable, very powerful AI chatbot. Their newest models are considered some of the best out there with the best benchmarks. So you're not gonna be losing much or really anything at all just by using Gemini and canceling your ChatGPT or Claude subscriptions. So now I wanna hear from you. Go ahead and comment down below and let me know which of these Gemini features you are the most excited to try out. And if there's something I didn't cover in this video that you use Gemini for to replace another AI tool, let me know because I'm always looking for ways to save money. Then if you wanna learn about some free AI tools that Google has released recently that I didn't get a chance to cover in this video, check out this video right here. It goes over some of my favorite free Google Gemini tools. So click right here and I'll see you there in just one second. Bye for now.